this concept of ride or die, does it work when your girlfriend and boyfriend or should it only be subject to marriage? Because you start dating a guy and they're like, oh, my ex was crazy. Watch that guy. I don't know if it's cute anymore. And especially if you're compromising your safety. Hi, guys. Welcome back to our channel. It's the Moda from Amas. And today we're here to talk about the ride or die chick. So this concept of ride or die, chick or guy, Sarah, what do you think? Is this crazy? Is this eternal love? What do you think? Oh, I don't know why it has to be ride or die. Why do we have to die for anything? Right? <laughs> why do we have to die? <laughs> Romeo and Juliet died for love? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if it's cute anymore, you know? Yeah. Uh, and especially if you're compromising some of the things, like if you're compromising your safety. Right. Right, right. So are we riding or dying? So for me, the concept of ride or die is someone who'll stick with you no matter what, right? That's what we call yeah. a ride or die chick. So yeah. you've gone through brokenness, your chick or your person is there, you've gone through yeah. strife, you've gone through people like, like, no matter what, no matter how big or small your drama is, right? Uh, is it a crazy concept or is it um, a long-term thing that we need to embrace more? I, I wouldn't want us to embrace it. You know, uh, you know I, and, and, and I'm, not, I'm saying, you know, it depends because sometimes you can be your partner can be going through a tough time, say right. financially, and especially mm -hmm. around this time when people are losing their jobs. So you know, around those situations, you you're gonna ride with them. True, true. Or you'd rather you should ride with them. <laughs> you said you're gonna. Some people might not, <laughs> but really you should. Yeah, this this Corona times really has taught us a lot, right? Where a lot of roles have changed in the home. Um, um yeah. But and this concept of ride or die does it work when your girlfriend and boyfriend, or should it only be subject to marriage and commitment such as those? But it has to start from boyfriend and girlfriend, and then you carry on. So you so now I'm asking, so you'd ride or die for your boyfriend? I mean, what if I ride or die for him, and then the dude doesn't? But, but, but you, you, you're only gonna, you're only gonna do that if there's commitment, though. You're not gonna do that when you haven't had a history with your partner. Right. Right. I mean, for so, me, I think I would say my ride or die has levels, and the levels depend on where we are in our relationship. So for my boyfriend. My ride or die, and this everybody should have their own um, level, right? The ride or die feels should end here, right? Whereas a husband, there's probably more, or a wife, there's more extension of what ride or die is. I mean, I'm not gonna uproot myself and change my whole life for a boyfriend, okay? But a husband, that's different. If we say, okay, let's pack our bags and go back to Kenya, this this American thing ain't working. Then yeah, my husband, yeah, let's go, babe. But a boyfriend, I no, it's a no. But don't you think this concept of ride or die is also what makes chicks and guys crazy um i mean you sit with your person you go to them to whatever let me base it on uh, say america right you've been with your dude um let me do it with our younger sisters you're driving in a car with your dude you get pulled over there's a pack of weed on the floor okay now the cop is asking whose is it and your dude looking at you like um you know i were you know i'm already in a lot of trouble um is right or die the chick who picks it up puts it in her purse so that it's caught on her because she has no priors yes that is right or die. And, and, and let me tell you, that can be tricky. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I feel, I feel like if I'm put in that kind of a situation, I probably I would. <laughs> I actually really, really appreciate your honesty of you don't know how you would react because it's very simple to sit here behind the screen. You don't know. Oh, I would never. But we've all been in love. We've all been crazy in love. And we've all had that one bad boy, no matter what the level of bad was, right? And you don't know what you would do in that situation when you turn teams like, babe. You know I love you, babe. Like, they're going to lock me up. And as females, the first thing you keep thinking is, damn, now nah, I won't be with my... Like, we're emotional beings. Yeah. And, and yes. the person in our life knows how to tune into our emotions. So, I mean, that's right or that, but I wouldn't encourage it, sisters, because, I mean, your freedom is priceless. <laughs> I know. Of course not. Yeah. But what about these other... I've seen people, you know, taking loans. That's actually really common. And unfortunately, I think a lot of people don't speak out on it because they're embarrassed about it. But I think that's one of those things that it's not even about like, the young chicks or young guys, even older people, right? I see grown independent women and men who work jobs and then you fall in love with this person, then you're co-signing for a car, right? You're co-signing yeah. for this, oh, because they have to send money home as if you don't as well. I mean, I think that's pretty dangerous. It really, really is. My, my take is if I have the money and you're my person and I love you, I would rather watch a little copy pesa. Here's cash, and that's my loss, right? But that being said, sisters, don't drain your bank account, brothers. Don't drain your bank account. If you if you are balling like that, because listen, we do have our Kenyan people out here balling, living the good life, very financially yeah. stable and secure. Oh, yeah. If you feel that way and you want to help a person, I would say, babe, may I have this extra thousand bob I can give you? 
that's very different from um let me go and take a loan for you but definitely don't go to a bank sign up your life to co-sign a loan for somebody else messing up your credit messing up your no i'm not for that i think i think that one it it's probably should be left to marriages you know yes. it is not a situation of of relationship you know what i mean because then you know yeah i agree as a marriage if me and my husband are walking over to get a loan for something first time somebody yeah. somebody's building us yeah home, building mm -hmm. our family so that's different mm -hmm. that's different gauge the situation is it worth it you know is my my car gonna be tainted am i gonna you know is it gonna affect my finances and right if it's and, more of a loss than a positive but here's another positive version of ride or die right i look at mm -hmm. president obama and his wife as ride or die now um i love to say this she she had more degrees than him going into the white house honey okay and she's definitely a very smart woman however mm -hmm. Our current American society, obviously, as we saw from previous elections, would rather have a man than a woman run the office. I mean, I'm so happy there's a black man in office. My feeling is just society, and not even America. Honestly, I just think all over the world, it's usually easier for people to take a man in power than a woman. But how many of the women actually are the ones that run the country? I mean, for Clinton, I also feel his wife was the one back there making most decisions. <laughs> it's true. Even France. Even France, the dude, he's, he's married to a very, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. How many of these women ride behind? And it could be the other way. It could be a woman in power and her man is the one guiding her, really. Um, mm -hmm. but how many of these relationships are ride or die? For me, that one is a positive. It's okay. You know, yes. maybe I got so to it, the face and I'm the... Uh. Right. So it, is that why people say that for every successful man, there's always a powerful you know, woman behind them, do you think? I believe the, the saying came from somewhere. It was there way before we had all these modern things. So this has been happening for a long time. I mean, I, I, I'm one of those people who believe you could tell what kind of woman a man has at home by just looking at him and looking at his resources, right? A man can make millions of dollars and have nothing based on the woman he has at home. And a man can have you know, make what we call minimal wage and still have a good home and look clean clothes and look good and act good and his kids are well fed because the kind of woman he has at home. The woman in Proverbs, I'm just saying, sis, it's, it's doable. Terrible. It's not about how much money you make. Ride or die can be positive. It can be good. You just have to pick the correct partner. Right. Pick and you know, it, and, yeah, don't go, don't go crazy. Don't go to those extents. Like you said, there has to be a limit. Yeah. Even in marriage, even in marriage, there has yeah, to be yeah, a yeah. limit. You know, there are things that I'm just not going to do. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And let's not do crazy things like this video. And I, I forgot to send it to you about the chick. Now, I don't know. In my head, I, every time you start dating a guy and they're like, oh, my ex was crazy, watch that guy. Because I don't think anybody's born crazy. He made her crazy. But this chick was being watched from an apartment complex. And I think the guy's a BMW and she came with a can of gasoline. She poured it all the way inside and then she lit a match. But her dumb ass put her face inside and it... Psh, he threw her right to the ground. I was just like, sis, it's not even worth it because he's probably upstairs in his apartment with another woman right now and explaining to her, that's why I told you my ex was crazy. <laughs> and and it's going to be insurance in that, on that car, so you're not doing much. And your ass going to get locked up. <laughs> so listen, <laughs> sis, don't, don't let Ryan or die make you crazy. <laughs> yes, and you lose your cute face. For what? Right, right. I mean, I always believe there's somebody for everybody. You might not yeah. see it now if maybe you're in a situation where you're feeling eh, but there's someone for everybody. Whether it's that person you're riding or dying with, or whether it's that person you 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 are ride or die for and they never stuck around, there's somebody for you, yes. bro. Yeah, don't yeah. Worry don't don't, worry about don't it. lose hope. Don't lose hope. And as as long as you're happy, you know. That's all that matters. What you feel in here. Mm -hmm. Self-care and self-love. Okay? So say the more that for mamas. Thank you for joining us today, guys. And we'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye. Mm -hmm.